Hi, I'm Phil Tyne. And I'm Lisa Naples. We'd like to congratulate you on your purchase of the Ab Sculptor. Now you too can have the greatest abs on earth. And you don't have to struggle doing conventional sit-ups. Your neck will be supported. You'll have support in your back. You'll be able to rock forward and work your abs and your obliques. The Ab Sculptor is good for beginners as well as those who are advanced. Advanced exercises are done by simply moving your hands down the bar. And we'll show you how to do that in just a moment. The Ab Sculptor program is designed to tone and tighten your abdominals. Now, if you by chance have a layer of fat over those abdominals and you work them, you're never going to be able to see them through that fat layer. So it's important to be concerned about your nutrition. So check with the nutritional guide and try to cut out some of the fat in your diet. Another great thing to do is to add aerobic activity. Now, the perfect workout is going to be to use your Ab Sculptor every day. It only takes three minutes. Then combine that with aerobic activity, say three or four times a week for 20 to 30 minutes. And if you watch what you eat, cut out that fat, you'll be able to have strong, tight, sexy looking abs in no time. Now, before we start to exercise, let's warm up and stretch. Before you begin any exercise program, there's two things you should do. First of all, check with your physician. And you should always warm up and stretch. Now, warming up is any activity that increases your blood flow and your body's temperature. Warming up can be walking on a treadmill, walking in place, walking outside, running, riding a bicycle. It doesn't take much, just any activity that actually increases your blood flow. Now, this is a short abdominal workout that we're going to show you, so we're not going to take five minutes to get you warmed up. So we're going to show you about four moves that you can do to get your body warmed up. First of all, marching in place is a great way to do that. Marching in place increases the circulation in your hips, your back, your lower stomach, uh, basically everything from the waistline down. You can also add your arms while you're walking in place. So you raise your arms up and down. And just a few repetitions will get you warmed up. You can also go side to side. That works the lateral motion, the inner and outer part of your thigh. Remember, we're just trying to increase blood flow. We're not trying to do anything massive here. We're just trying to get your body to increase its temperature. We're adding a little bit of a leg curl here because we get more hamstrings and glutes involved. And we can actually add some more arms. Okay, now go ahead and pause the tape. Spend about five minutes warming up. And when you're finished, come on back because Lisa's going to show you how to stretch out those abdominals and the low back before we start to actually exercise. Now that we're all warmed up, we're going to first start off with some stretching exercises for your abdominal area and your lower back. My friend Phil over here is going to coach me through this. Start off by lying down on your back. Be careful getting up and down. We don't want to strain your low back. Keep your knees bent, rock down, that's perfect. In this position right here, we're going to first of all bring our knees up, both knees up nice and easy. Grasp your legs behind the hamstring area. And don't pull on your legs. Yes, and just simply pull your knees in and hold that contraction for about five seconds. This is going to stretch out your lower back, your hamstring, and your glute area. Then relax, and you can just relax to about that position. Repeat this two or three times, bring it in. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Now we're only going to show you a few of the stretches. If you have a stretching routine or you feel like you need more, go ahead and do as much as you like. You can always put the tape on pause. Great, now lower one leg, keeping the other leg up. Again, behind the hamstring and just pull this into your chest. Remember, don't pull too hard. Jump. We're not trying to strain, we're just trying to stretch the muscles, get them ready for exercise. Relax. Once again, three, four repetitions are fine. You don't have to do, this is not exercise, this is just warming up and stretching. Now repeat that on the other side. Once again, this is stretching the lower back. This is actually part of the Williams flexion routine for the back. It's a nice, safe, healthy way to stretch your back and get it ready for exercise. Once again, hold it about five seconds on each side. Good. Now, put this one out all the way, keeping one knee bent. We're going to roll to the side. Roll your leg over. Now, the other hand is going out straight, and we're going to twist the head toward that hand and look right down your hand. That's going to help to stretch out the neck area, and we're going to roll this knee over a little bit. And as you can see, we're actually stretching the obliques, the waistline here, the hip and the thigh area. 
and we're actually concentrating on pushing this shoulder down as we roll. We're going to hold that now about 10 or 15 seconds on this one. You can do two or three of these on each side, but we're going to show you one. Now switch, go to the other leg. Okay, now, once again, make sure you're looking down that right arm so you really can get the stretch through the neck also. Great stretch for the lower back. This will get you ready for that exercise program we're about to do. Perfect. 10, 15 seconds. Now, real important exercise. Flip over on your stomach. Face down. Place your hands just a little bit about shoulder width apart. And we're going to raise our neck and our shoulders and our chest off the floor. The Notice only thing that's, that's really actually rising off the floor is the abdominal area. And we're stretching the lower back. Notice this nice lower doses curve that we've got here. And then relax and go back down. We're going to do about three of these. Press up. It's important not to let your head go way back into what we call hyperextension. That's not good on your neck. So keep a nice even line here, a nice curvature in your low back. Relax. Let's do one more, Lisa. Once Come again, up. you can hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds. And exhale. Start to concentrate on your breathing because that's an important part of any exercise program. And relax. Well, it looks to me like we're all warmed up, stretched, and ready to exercise. So let's go ahead and start the Ab Sculptor three minute workout. Are you ready for a workout? Your Ab Sculptor should be in this position the headrest on the floor, the pads are facing in the up position, and the bar right straight across. Go ahead and lie down. Now it's important that you position your head and your neck correctly. The curve of the pad should fit against the small of your neck and your head should be resting comfortably. This is a great machine. Let's use it comfortably. Now your knees should be bent. That helps support your low back. Look at this now. This is the perfect position to exercise your abs, to get those strong, tight, sexy abdominals you've always wanted. Now, the beginning position is going to be with your hands placed in the upper position against the bar. You're actually going to use this bar to assist you in your exercises by folding, pulling forward like this. This gives you a little added lift to help you if you're a beginner. Now, if you're an advanced one, if you've been doing some kind of stomach crunches and you think you can handle the advanced workout, you can lower your hands down to these pads placing your elbows on the cushion pads here and that'll make it a little bit harder because you don't have quite the leverage and it'll give you an advanced workout. We're going to take you through a three minute workout, four basic exercises to tone, tighten and shrink your waist down. Let's start right now with the beginning basic crunch. Hands up here. Now remember if you're advanced you can go ahead and grab them down here and we're going to start by leaning forward and pulling easily with the hands. Ready? Begin. One. You want to make sure when you're doing this, as you crunch up, you exhale. So you really isolate those abdominals. And when you get to the top, just hold it for a split second. Get a good, strong contraction in there. Really work those ab muscles. For the beginning people, your hands are right where you need them. Just pull forward and lean, crunch, tighten that stomach up. Really good. Your Keep neck breathing. should feel good. Great. Squeeze. Almost there. We got four more repetitions. You can make it. Come on. Th two more now. Come on up and relax. Really good. Now, bend the knees. Bring your knees up nice and easy. We're going to start from here and come on up. This is called the reverse crunch. Use the bar for support. Come on up. One. Two. This is great for the lower part of your abs. You can also contract your muscles each time you come up. This is really isolating the lower abdominal region. Make sure you're breathing. Good. We're going to do a more advanced exercise just like this later on. So just keep squeezing. A lot of this is mental. There's ten. We got five. Keep concentrating four, on that muscle you're working. Three more. Come on. You can do it. Two and one. Great. Go ahead and grab the bar again. Remember, beginners here, advance down here. Oblique curls to the left. We're going to roll the legs over and squeeze up. The key here is to keep your knees bent, keep your knees rolled to the side. We're isolating the obliques along the side to trim and shrink that waist area. Come on up, hold it. Good. You should start feeling the burn by squeeze now. Squeeze it. If you're a beginner, you're really feeling the burn right now. 
If you're advanced, you can always repeat the whole three-minute exercise program to get more exercise in your stomach. There's 10, five more. Keep Great. breathing. Four. Blow out, three. Two more. Exhale. Last one. And one. Great. We got to repeat it on the other side. It's really going to start to burn, even for the beginners. Ready? Go. The ab sculptor is perfect. It keeps you in alignment. You can't cheat. That's why you're getting twice the exercise. You're exercising your obliques on the way up and controlling it on the way down. If you get tired, if you can't do another repetition, just stop. There's always another day. Come Think on. of yourself in that bathing suit, how great you're going to look this summer. Great. You look good. You're looking good out there, too. Keep going. Keep going. Keep There's breathing. 10. Oh, that oblique starting to scream. Four more. Come on, you can do it. Keep breathing. You'll have abs like Lisa in no time. Two. One more. And one. Good. Go back to the basic position. Now, if you're a beginner, you can quit right now. This is a little bit more of an advanced exercise. We're going to bring the knees up, and we're going to use the crunch at the same time. So you're going to crunch forward and like that. Ready? Begin. One. Two. Notice what we're doing. We're doing the basic crunch on the upper body. We're doing the reverse crunch on the lower body. This is a very advanced exercise, especially if you're using the handles down here instead of up on the top. This is a killer ab workout right here. Great. Keep breathing. You can really feel that burn. Great. There's 10 repetitions. We've only got five more. Four, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Three, two. Last one, you guys can one. do it. One. Great job, good job, Lisa, look at those Thanks. abs, those are great. Here, let me help you up. Now, if you're really advanced and you didn't feel like that was quite enough, just repeat, do the whole thing over. I know people that do this three or four times in a row, but that's the basic three-minute exercise program. The great thing about the Ab Sculptor is you can fold it down. Now, I don't recommend that you ever fold it down. I mean, you want to have this out every day so that you can exercise and do your ab workout right along with us. But if you have to have company coming over or you need to go someplace, you can fold it up Take it with you, but we're going to see you tomorrow for another day of the strongest abs on earth.